Hello everybody, my name is OSRS Mirez, and today I'm going to teach you the basics of brewing in under 5 minutes. Let's get started. Brewing is the creation of drinks. There are many different drinks in Gelinor, mead, ale, ciders, and such, and they can be hold in beer glasses or kegs, and both have negative and positive bonuses. If you go into your cooking guide and go into brewing, you can find a list of all the different drinks and the ingredients needed for each one. There are two locations in Gelinor where you can create your own brews. One is in the bar in Keldegrim upstairs, and another is in Port Phasmatis down the trap door. Starting at the Grand Exchange, the easiest way to Keldegrim is to take the trap door west. This is going to put you just south of the bar. Head north and then climb the stairs. And there is the fermenting bat. I'm going to start by creating some cider. Cider is made by using four cooking apples on the apple press. That will give you a bucket of apple mush. Use four buckets of apple mush on the fermenting vat, and then some yeast, and you got yourself some cider. So once you have four buckets of apple mush, talk to this fella right here, grab some yeast for 25 coins, and you're going to put the apple mush into the vat then start the fermenting progress with the yeast cider is the only drink that doesn't require water or barley malt or doesn't even take the stuff from the trouble brewing mini game so it's all just luck in getting the mature area heading over to the brewery in port phasmatis Head north from the bank, and thankfully there's a bank nearby, in case you forget anything. And go towards the bar. Robin's in here as well, as long as with Bill Teach, these alcoholics. Go behind the bar, I know the bartender hates you, and climb down the trap door. You're going to need a ghost speak amulet to talk to this NPC. Now with every drink, it's going to require two buckets of water, two barley malts, and then the stuff is optional. This increases the opportunity of getting a matured variant by 50%. Then I'm creating Slayer's Respite, so I'm going to add four Wild Blood hops to it. And then finally, the piece of resistance is going to be some yeast. And I forgot some bloody pot. Oh man. Thanks to that bank nearby, I've got my pot. So with five ecto tokens in your inventory, talk to this fella right here. Get that precious yeast and let's start the fermenting process. The brewing process can be as short as one day or as long as a week. I got some mature Slayer's Respite here. So in order to collect it, you're going to want to drain it, turn the valve, and it's going to drain it into the barrel, and then use a keg onto the barrel, and there you'll have your sweet, sweet, sweet Slayer's Respite. Oh yeah. Now here I also have the material or the ingredients for Moonlight Meat. So I'm going to fast forward this process so you guys could watch how I do this. Thanks for watching, I really hope this helps you. If you need help on any subject area, please, you know, shoot me a comment and I'll make a video about it. Bye!